Lord, grant me the courage to not fucking slam my face into this camera because I'm stupid and can't record a proper intro. <sighs> Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back to Hissy Fit. Now, if you ask me, the best place to be during the summertime is on the beach. From going with your family to when you're little to when you're a bit older and you can go with your friends, we've upgraded from buckets and shovels to things that you can only purchase with an ID if you're over 21. So for those of you within the legal age bracket, we've got a drunk on the beach starter pack for you today. This is classy. Number one, you're gonna need something to drink. I've got a little Coronita right here. It's a little mini Corona bottle, which uh, I actually got for my 21st birthday and haven't opened. It's just been sitting in my room. But that's not the point of this. Bring something to the beach for you to drink, whether it's a box of wine or some beers, or maybe you want to make a little cocktail in a ratchet ass water bottle. Well, I'm sure that we've all done that before. Make sure you're also bringing some water too because you want to be responsible and you want to take care of yourselves. And although you want to get a little bit ratchet, you want to be smart while you're doing it. Number two, sunscreen. There is nothing worse than passing out on the beach after having not put on any sunscreen, whether you're drunk or not, and getting burnt up like a little tiny roasting raisin in the sun. Now I did not follow my own advice this past weekend as my red nose and my burnt kneecaps can tell you, but sunscreen, it's a little bit of a hassle, but it's worth it, especially when you're drunk because then you just don't have anything you have to worry about. You know you took care of yourself. And that's a good feeling, especially when you're drunk. There are two things that make an absolutely deadly combination when put together, and that is poorly fitting clothes and alcohol. And when you go on the beach, that shit is increased tenfold if you ask me. Nobody wants to see your titty pop out. Nobody wants to see your balls pop out if you're a dude watching this video. So cover your ass. Make sure that you are wearing a bathing suit that fits you nicely. This past season, I decided to invest in some body glove swimwear. It's good quality. It's not going to fall apart and shit like that. I mean, it's like a surf brand, which is awesome. And this is a one piece from them that I love. I bought this one piece specifically not for day drinking or anything like that, but to have a properly fitting bathing suit that when I put it on, I know that there's going to be no wardrobe malfunctions whatsoever. My boobies are going to stay in place, my ass is going to be where it needs to be, and I will be able to relax wherever I am without any worries. Now this is a minor detail, but it makes me feel better when I'm drinking on the beach. I like to wear some waterproof mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. This is a little travel size because I don't wear waterproof mascara a lot, so I don't want to invest in a big item that's going to be used like two or three times over the course of the summer, honestly. I'm including this mascara because it'll just make you look a little bit more alive, a little bit more put together, and just the teensiest bit of glam. Even though you're not putting on a full face of makeup, you'll just feel a little nicer, a little bit more put together when everything is actually falling apart. <laughs> There's probably so many more things I could have included in this video, but these are the bare necessities because let's be real guys, once we all start drinking, we don't really care about all the extra shit we packed. We're just trying to make it home by the end of the day. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Hissy Fit. Comment down below some of your favorite drunk beach stories and give this video a like. I will see you guys next week in a new video. Peace.